perspective. What a gift to have, you know, that choice. But firstly, let me send out my heartfelt thanks for all your lovely birthday wishes. I was truly overwhelmed. In fact, I haven't even been able to get through all of them yet. I was actually really caught off guard because I didn't expect my videos to reach so far and wide. So what did I do? I had a tech detox, a mental reset, you know, personal regrouping over my birthday week as I had promised my husband that I wasn't going to work and practice really being present with my family. What this did was it gave me the privilege of perspective and I really encourage you anyone to do this. See, in my downtime, I've been able to take stock of the things that were truly important to me, reset my mindset to focus on what was really important in my life. And for me, that's family and my vision, which leads me to one of my missions of shifting the perspective on a topic dear to my heart, mental greatness, which starts with the community. See, the study of the scarcity versus abundance model is widely read. In general, scarcity activates a constrained mindset. However, one of abundance gives to a more collaborative one. In the idea of economics as the study of the human behavior with regards to scarce resources, limited ones leading to competition, confrontation, conflict, any more Cs? Leading to overconsumption, overproduction, waste and inequality. Sounds familiar? Whereas the nature of human is that of kindness, cooperation and sharing. I want to try an audacious social experiment with the design methodology approach. See, I believe in a civilization that is born out of love would find collaboration to be the base model where society would make way, pay forward for progress and, well, for the good of everybody. Lah. Lowering the level of entropy and making allowances for everybody to be able to survive and thrive. See, with free will, the only way to get things done and move forward was with love and fellow consideration. This makes sense, really. You see, for me, the only way that you can get me to move is if you move me with growth and inspiration for a better future for my kids. I believe in this future, now more than ever. Why? Because for the first time in history, we had an emergency break and got a chance to pause take stock of what was truly important and remember that we're in charge of this planet and all the lives that are on it. And if we like what we have, we should really try our best to maintain it. The only way to start this positive train game is to reset our mindset and then everything else will follow. Nothing happens until the intention is set not the motivation that drives us from fear of not having enough, but more so the inspiration that builds a sustainable future. So I want to start this ball rolling, you know, start with my own home, to be the invitation to try my best to build forward. See, I'm no freaking saint. I've been a bitch before, acting out of scarcity, but every day, is a new day and the chance to start over. So I start again, reset and go. And with my vlogs, I have decided to stop highlighting the pain points as usually prescribed for startups, but move in a more progressive, optimistic approach of, well, giving solutions instead of hopping on a problem. See, if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. So I want to start an experiment and be part of the solution. And I hope that you will join me too. I want to start the What If campaign series with the intention set out for a more progressive, sustainable economy, world, lifestyle, why don't you? And I really believe that this is possible. So as a starting point, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. I want to share a series of whip show projects that's work in progress show projects to set the theme in motion. They're from my graduating batch of GSA graduates. They're my last ones. They've gone and masterfully put together a collection of new perspectives, experiments which paves the way for new ways of looking at simple issues. 
that we have today surrounding what mental wellness, mental issues in all areas, really. We're also showcasing their works in celebration of the annual Work in Progress Christmas show happening right now. This year, it's going to be a little special as we bring you intimate stories of their curious viewpoints and critical thinking and decision making that they've made in building a design process that culminates into their interim projects. With what they've developed thus far, I really can't wait to see what they're capable of coming up with by the end of their degree. And this is going to be a degree show in June next year. So until then, do me a favor and look out for their works over the next few weeks. And what we've lovingly entitled the Fuck It Non-Essential Show. And why not? It's the temperament of the entire world right now. You see, we are all work in progress as of 2020. So we might as well own it and allow it to empower us. See you soon.